I just stood here for five minutes doing a complete review of this bike without realizing that I did not hit the record button. So now I have to start all over again because I'm an idiot. I'm going on another amazing adventure. Anyway, let's talk about some of the features of this bike. With everything powered down, you still have what essentially amounts to a six-speed mountain bike. It's got a manual revo shift. There are six speeds that you can manually shift just like you would any other multi-gear bike. So this will function on its own without any additional power. That being said, once you turn it on, you have a pedal assist. As you pedal, an electric motor will kick in to help boost what you are pedaling. And it comes at five different levels on the Buzz bike. Emily likes to ride it at about a level one, maybe a level two. I tend to go more level two, level three, just because I'm impatient and I like to go a little bit faster. The good part about that is if you pedal at one speed and a friend or a spouse or a partner is pedaling at a different speed, you can adjust your pedal assist to where you're still maintaining a consistent speed between the two of you. If one person pedals faster naturally and the other person pedals slower, well then the slower person can just bump their pedal assist up by one and you guys are going to maintain pretty much side by side speed. If I'm going up a slight grade, I will bump the pedal assist up to about a three. And by slight grade, I mean if you stop pedaling, you can feel the bike slow down. That's usually when I'll bump it up to a three because I can tell I'm going up a slight grade. If it's a noticeable hill, I will probably bump it all the way up to five. Bumping it up all the way is a great way to get up those hills. It also has a standalone throttle so if you don't want to pedal, you can use the throttle, just push it down with your thumb, and it will effectively act as an accelerator for you. Now, it is not strong enough on its own to carry you uphill. That's where the pedal assist really is the primary method of acceleration for this bike. You can use the throttle for a steady, consistent speed pretty much over a flat terrain. If you're gonna get on a rough terrain or a situation where you're going uphill, the throttle alone, again, it's gonna help you a little bit, but I've tried it on several hills and it does slow down. Aside from the pedal assist, on your main control panel, you've got a battery meter that shows your current battery status based on your current usage. What that means is if you are relying strictly on the throttle and the electric motor, the battery meter will adjust based on how much power you're using. And there's an indicator on this screen that will show you how much power you're using. The more power you use, the faster your battery will deplete. The key to monitoring your battery is when you are at a complete standstill or you are not using any power and you're just coasting on your own power, that will give you an accurate indicator of where your battery currently stands. Hey, Ellen, get up here. You also have on the main screen your speedometer. You have your odometer, which is a total number of miles that you've gone. This bike right now has about 70 miles on it because we've been giving it quite a workout right lately. The bike comes with its own manual bell. It's got two handbrakes, it's got reflectors, the handlebars are adjustable. The seat is adjustable. You don't need tools to do this. You can just flip the lock over and slide it up and down. So that's very, very convenient, especially when you're going to fold the bike up. Buzz was kind enough to include some rear view mirrors for us. So I've actually got those on mine. Emily does not have these on hers because they did something special for her. They put some streamers on her bike so she's not she doesn't have room to put the mirrors on using these so i'm going to keep the mirrors she's going to keep the streamers and i'm going to keep an eye on what's behind us another accessory that buzz provided for us which we really appreciate is this back rack bag you've got some space in here which is all right so we keep our bike lock in here you can expand this by opening up the side so not only do you have the top storage, you now have a side storage. So basically a saddlebag. So you can put stuff in here. It does include a shoulder strap 
So you could take this off of the bike and you can carry it with you, which we've actually done a couple times. The saddle bag is on both sides. This bag has a really nice cup holder on the back. So if you have a beverage, I'm not gonna say what kind, I'm just gonna say a beverage. You can put this back here. I'm sure if you're gonna be riding a long distance, it should be water. I would probably put water in here. This bag itself, you can actually expand. So if you need more space, you can unzip this and that will give you a little more room. So I'm going to zip this back up and then I'm going to zip up the expansion here. More than once I have made the mistake of unzipping the expander on this versus unzipping the actual top of the bag. It's not necessarily a design flaw, it's more like not 100% idiot proof. The bike comes with a front rack, which as Emily noted is great for things like firewood. We were at a friend's campsite that was across the campground and we were bringing over a dessert and we actually strapped the dessert down to the front of this when we were riding over. I wish I'd have gotten video of it. This comes in very much in handy as well as the back rack, which I've got the bag on. If you don't have that, you can strap stuff to that as well. Buzz has straps that will go over that for you, which is great. Just like this bag and the rear view mirrors, there are a number of accessories. They actually have an electronic bell that can go on here that will double as an alarm system. So it will create the same noise, but it will also, if someone tries to take off with it, it will make noise then as well. Another great feature of this is it does have a fairly powerful LED headlight and a tail light. So if you do need to ride this at night, it is doable. The light is, it's about on par with a strong flashlight. And we actually have some test footage that I shot recently in the dark that will kind of give you an idea of how far the light goes and how strong it is. I probably would not recommend riding this at night on a busy street. If you are trying to get around a campground or if you are in a place where you just need to get a shorter distance in the dark, in a hurry, headlight, tail light, don't have to worry about that. You do have that feature. Now here's the fun part. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to fold this down. We're gonna do it step by step. Number one, fold the pedals. I usually pull these up and let it fall because it's just easier than trying to force it down and the direction that you're sitting, they're gonna roll around anyway. So fold the pedals, handlebars, which there is a release key here, and then you just fold that down. That will take care of that. Then you pull the lock latch in the middle. Need to get a good, I'm on the wrong side for doing this. So now you got the lock latch released and put the kickstand up, pull this over here like that. And it's got a stand underneath it. You're ready to go. That's it. That's all there is to it. From here, you just pick it up. You can put it on a bike rack. You can put it on a storage rack. We keep it on the storage rack of our Wolf Pup when we're traveling. We also can put these in the back of our SUV. We've actually done that a couple times when we haven't had the trailer with us. We can just put this in the back of the SUV. They both fit in there very easily. So very, very portable. And if you want to set it up, you just do the same thing in reverse. You pick it up, you fold it around, you lock the latch right here. You bring the handlebars up. Lock those into place and you fold the pedals up. And you're ready to ride. And that is a look at the Buzz Bicycle. If you wanna learn more about Buzz Bicycles, make sure that you visit anotheramazingadventure.com slash buzz. We'll tell you more about it there. If you have questions or just wanna know more about it, reach out to us, send us a message on Facebook, Instagram, through our website. Be more than happy to answer your questions for you.